Hello everybody, my name is Ray. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. I got rainbow. Yo. Yo. And now we're here, back in Meridian. And now I finally get to see the castle. Because throughout all my grinding, every time I try to come here, the, the castle's blocked off, blah, blah, blah. You can't enter here, such and such. Now, I hopefully I finally get to see it. By the sun, a woman who's not washing dishes and cooking. What? Hmm. Eh, yeah, I, irony because today was was International Woman's Day. No I one just goes dated this episode. Without an invitation. Oh. Talk to that guy. God damn it! I feel stupid right now. Blameless. Wow, that's that's not a good way to start off. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Mirage. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. He sounds like a yes, higher pitch. Yes, uh, has come to ask a favor of him. Morgan Unpleasant, Freeman. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tamer with the curious eye. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. First the Oseram gets special treatment, and now outlanders what from the savage East? East could the Sun King have in her? Passed by some outlander woman? Unacceptable. I've been here Suck it. Miss Nora goes to the front of the line. I've been here for Ignore two them. hours. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. Yup, definitely. I'm too good for these people. The most eh. important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Because he's too busy kissing ass to cover up for all the shit his father did. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Errand, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume <laughs> she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osara. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. Is he going to hit on me? I need further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Osaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes but Ursa has a way of making her people see reason so you see I need her back at my side and quickly he likes her who is Durval Ooh exactly Ooh. to understand Durval you must first understand my father he truly thought of himself as a sun god his mind was broken he believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. 
Oh shit. So Damn. why would Derval go to so <clears throat> much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she came to me. Together we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. Hmm. So then her theory was right about someone designing a brand new weapon. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. Do I have time for this? No. I need to get going. I know. No, you have some time. Well, they say kings should never beg. Do we? But please. Yeah, you have a little bit of time. Help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. What do you need, Aloy? I'd like to ask. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? Mm. It's not Two too out of three. far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. <laughs> Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Ooh, I like him. Hmm. Quite a place you've got here. Shit. Approve, oh yeah, way to go, Ray. Shut up. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too. I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation. Especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace. Promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime. Holding out the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care yep. only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. I have to go. Understood. Then. Sunfall <coughs> is the city to the west of D because it's right there. Because that's the sun ring where everyone was taken to be sacrificed. Okay, so I, I imagine we'll be visiting there. Oh yeah. Soon. I don't care about Avad. <coughs> Ooh, I know the book. Oh, I made 13 of 18. I'm getting close to those. Neat. Alright. Okay, now we're out of time. Alright, we will see y'all in the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye.